In this video, I'm going to share with you how I polish fine scratches out of car paint of my customers' cars who are getting ready to just sell them and they want to spruce things up a bit. Now let's get straight into it. What's going on? Thank you so much for being here and welcome back. My name is Luke Wilson and if you're new to the Wilson Auto Detailing community and you're a pro detailer who wants to become more successful and profitable in your detailing business or you're just a car enthusiast who wants to improve your detailing ability, then definitely hit that red subscribe button right below this video. So just to give you guys a little bit of context of what I'm doing, I'm on location at one of my customers' houses and I'm detailing their light blue minivan. Now they're getting ready to sell this minivan, so over the phone they said, hey, we just want you to do kind of the bare minimum, I want you to detail it and just get it ready to sell. And as a pro detailer, that's something that happens all the time. So when I showed up this morning and I was kind of walking around the car with my customer, we were talking about some things and some imperfections we saw on the car paint and specifically some minor scratches that he wants me to kind of try to buff out and polish out if they can be polished out. So more often than not, I'm doing pretty heavy paint correction, dealing with heavy swirls, heavy scratches, but in this situation specifically, because they're just wanting to sell the car, they don't want to invest that kind of money to kind of correct or perfect that kind of paint and to that level. So we're just going to work with some really minor fine scratches and I want to bring you guys in and show you how I deal with this because fine surface top layer scratches are something that a lot of people deal with and they're very easy to deal with and it's something that really whether or not you're a pro detailer or a do-it-yourself or you can accomplish fairly easily but it's also something that can kind of make you more profitable as a pro detailer because it's an area that you can upcharge for and it doesn't take a lot of extra time. So this first area that I'm going to be working on is right here. This is the driver's side door and right here what we have is a little bit of what looks like transfer to me. There are some scratches like this one that goes for a pretty long way. This one I can actually catch my nail on which means that it's below the clear coat so this cannot be polished out but there are some things surrounding it like right here and right here that are a little bit finer scratches and maybe even be at a level transfer. So what I'm gonna do is actually just run my buffer over this and see what comes out. Out. But before I do that, I want to make sure that this stuff actually can't be taken care of in an easier way. And what I mean is that is if some of this can come off and come out by an easier method, then that's what I want to do. So right here I've got my magic, my Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, and this thing is amazing at removing transfer. And I've got a bottle of Super Degreaser, Meguiar Super Degreaser diluted 5 to 1. And I'm not using Super Degreaser for any particular reason other than I just had it in my arsenal and I reached for it. So I'm going to use this as a lubricant for my Magic Eraser eraser, but all I'm actually going to do is use this to spray on this kind of area that we were talking about and see if any of this comes off as transfer. So as I was expecting it when I got done with that, it really didn't much, much really didn't come off. There really wasn't a lot of transfer. So here's my next step that I'm going to take in order to try to remove and buff out as much of this that will come out. I've got my Griot's Garage 6 inch random orbital dual action polisher, which I absolutely love and I'll definitely hook this up in the description box below. It's an amazing polisher for beginners to learn on. You really can't mess anything up with this polisher. And attached, I have a heavy cutting pad from Chemical Guys, it's part of their hex logic series which is supposed to help the polish flow you can see this hexagon pattern but it's a heavy cutting pad I want to get as much cut as I can with the pad and in conjunction with the heavy cutting yellow pad I'm gonna use Meguiar's 105 which is their heavy cutting polish and we're gonna see how well this takes care of these top layer scratches now just as a general rule when you're applying polish you really don't have to use as much as the manufacturers kind of would lead you to believe so let me show you guys exactly how much I'm gonna use this is all I'm going to use for this job and really I'm polishing most of this top door panel and so this little bit is going to go a long way and really a lot of people tend to overcompensate with the polish but this is plenty. So if we take a look now after the Meguiar's 105 has been buffed, polished in, and uh, buffed off, and then I also followed up with Meguiar's Ultimate Paste Wax, the wax helps remove the polish, so this is just a, a polished and waxed surface now. But you can see that yes, things like this tiny little indention right here that's still there, this big scratch that we saw before is still there because once again it's below the clear coat, so it would have to be wet sanded away. But there's things like right here that we were dealing with a lot of transfer that's no longer there. 
there. There's right up here, these tiny, tiny scratches that we saw before. I don't even know if the camera will pick them up because even in person, I can barely see them anymore. So you can see that though, yes, there are some that's below the clear coat that's not going to come out without wet sanding and kind of heavier cutting measures, every top coat surface scratch is definitely removed. Now the second big problem area with kind of a lot of cluster of scratches is right here. So you can see everywhere where I'm running my hand right now, I hope the camera picks it up, there's a ton of scratches that somebody just drugged something across here, almost looks like a tree branch got drug across. Some of these, yes, they're definitely beneath the clear coat, but I'm gonna go ahead and do exactly what I did on the driver's side to the back side right here, and I'm gonna see which of these come out and which stay. And boom, there's the after. So is all, are all of the scratches gone? No. Were they expected to all go away? No, because some of these, once again, are beneath the clear coat. When you run your fingernail across it, you can feel that. But you can see that after this is polished and waxed, that the surface definitely has not only just polished away all those top coat surface scratches, but it also really just almost hides these scratches. Unless, uh, to the uncritical and unaided eye, you know, the average person really is not ever going to see this and so once again, this is just to spruce it up in order that they can sell this car, enhance the paint a little bit, but it's very, very simple to remove top coat scratches. Now I wanna go ahead and throw up a before and after picture of this rear door here. So you can see here that the before, it's not nearly quite as like glossy a surface, but when you polish and it becomes more glossy, you do run the risk of almost enhancing those deeper scratches because they're now, those deeper scratches are now sitting behind a canvas that's much more polished, glossy, and almost the luster and the color's been restored. So of course, that's something that you wanna communicate with your customer in that if you polish the top coat scratches away, yes, that's going to remove them, but at the same time, you might enhance those deeper scratches because the contrast between the glossy polished paint and the deep scratch kind of juxtaposes the two and it makes that scratch really stand out. So definitely an important thing to communicate. And of course, if you guys have seen any of my other videos, you know know how big a fan I am of the Griot's six inch dual action polisher. I just can't say enough good things about this. And if you'd like to get this polisher, definitely check out the description box below and use my links because when you use my links, it does give this channel a very small commission, but it helps this channel stay alive so that I can continue to give out valuable and good content for you guys. And of course, if you'd like to buy the Meguiar's 105 or the Chemical Guys Heavy Cutting Yellow Pad, I'll put all those things in the description box below. It's a link that'll take you straight to Amazon. It's totally safe and it's easier and faster for you because it takes you right to the product that you'd like to buy. Everyone, thank you so much for watching and once again, if you're new here to the Wilson Auto Detailing community, then definitely consider subscribing because I come out with daily videos of tips and tricks for the pro detailers and car enthusiasts on products, tools, and strategies to use and also things like business skills and communication skills and on this channel, I share the exact strategies that allowed me to turn my auto detailing business into a full-time income with only part-time hours. So if you're interested in that, definitely subscribe. If you like this video and it helped you, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, video ideas, or advice, definitely hook all that up in the comment section below because some of the best advice comes from you guys, the Wilson Auto Detailing community. So once again, thank you so much for being involved and being a part of the community. And from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, keep working hard and I'll see you guys in the next video.